Scientists fear that a hole in a 600-mile-long fault line in the Pacific could trigger a catastrophic earthquake that would decimate cities along northwestern US. The hole, spewing hot liquid, sits 50 miles off the shoreline of Oregon, on the boundary of the dipping fault known as Cascadia Subduction Zone, which spans from Northern California into Canada. This geological feature is capable of unleashing a magnitude 9 earthquake in the Pacific Northwest, and the hole could be the fuel it needs. The leak was first observed in 2015, but a new analysis, led by the University of Washington, suggests that the chemically distinct liquid is a fault lubricant. This liquid allows plates to move smoothly, but without it, stress can build to create a damaging quake. A robotic diver uncovered the hole in a 2015 survey when sonar images captured bubbles rising from the seafloor. Data show that liquid from the spring was coming from the plate boundary line, and appeared warmer than the surrounding area. Observations later determined that the leaking fluid was 16 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than the surrounding seawater and was coming directly from the Cascadia megathrust, where temperatures are an estimated 3 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Loss of fluid from the offshore megathrust interface through these strike-slip faults is important, because it lowers the fluid pressure between the sediment particles and hence increases the friction between the oceanic and continental plates. The Cascadia megathrust spans several major metropolitan areas, including Seattle and Portland, Oregon, but also touches parts of Northern California and Vancouver Island in Canada. The Cascadia subduction zone is a region where two tectonic plates collide, the Juan de Fuca, a small oceanic plate, is being driven under the North American plate atop the continental US. Subduction systems, where one tectonic plate slides over another, can produce the world's largest known earthquakes. A prime example is the 2011 Tohoku earthquake that rocked Japan, killing an estimated 20,000 people. Cascadia is seismically quiet compared to other subduction zones, but is not completely inactive. Research indicates that the fault ruptured in a magnitude 9 event in 1700, roughly 30 times more powerful than the largest predicted San Andreas earthquake. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.